Okay, so today I'm going to be doing a demo on how I update my server. Um, first step is obviously in the launcher it'll say you need to update and install. So I'll log in, I won't update, and I'll log into the server. You can do this with the remote tool, but you need to do it before you remote, uh, before you update. So the first thing you're going to do is log into your unupdated server and type slash shutdown space one. Okay. It should me out. Okay, now next, you're going to want to update the client. So, as you can see just here, it's saying update and restart, update and install latest version. So, we're going to click that. Alright, and then while it's doing that, we're going to open up SSH. I mean, I'm using Putty to connect, so uh, I'll just switch over to my terminal now while this is updating. Because once it's done, that's all you have to do with the client. Okay, so here we are, and we're logged in using Putty or whatever SSH terminal you choose. Um, and what we're going to do, I mean, I've mounted mine, so it's media, and then my folder, and then there's a hard drive, obviously I've mounted a 500 gig hard drive, which used to have Minecraft on it, so it's called Minecraft. If I now type ls, I'll show you what's in the folder. You see, there's my old craft bucket installed. And then we're going to go into StarMade. Now, uh, from here, what we're going to do is we're going to run the StarMade-Starter jar. And um, the command that you're going to need, let's see if I can find it in my bash. I'm just going to press up until I find it. The command you're going to need is... Uh, a Java command. There we go. sudo java dash jar starmade dash starter dot jar dash no GUI. Okay. It asks me to put my password in. And off it goes. Now, that's gonna complete. And then when it's completed, there's a couple more things we're gonna need to do. Okay, so now it's finished. I'm just going to type ls again. And we're going to do simple cd space star made. It's capital S and a capital M usually. ls. And now we can see everything in there. Now we're going to do something because every time it updates, it resets the permission for the star, de star made uh, dedicated server linux.sh, which is what we're using. So, what we're going to do is uh, I've already got this in my buffer. We're doing a sudo chmod ug plus x starmade dedicated server linux.sh and that's just going to basically allow it to run okay you're making it executable um after there what i like to do is pretty simple actually you just type again sudo nano and it's starmade dedicated We're going to go in using nano because you're in a terminal, so you, that's going to be the, you know, one of the better ones. And as you can see, it's reset this as well. So I'm just going to remove this line completely. And a lot of people use screen, but we're not going to use screen. So the first thing we'll do is we'll set up 1024, and then we'll set up here 2048. The end, this is really simple, we'll just put an ampersand, it's the and sign, put that at the end, and that'll make it run in the background. Okay? It's really simple. You don't need to install screen necessarily. Okay? Um, obviously, there are better ways of doing this, and you'll probably want to check out uh, the NAS server. He's got a daemon that he runs, a custom daemon, uh, Mr. Doom. But uh, anyway, You'll find him in the support thread most of the time, or advertising his server on the official website. But this works really well, uh, just for a simple setup. <coughs> so, Control O writes out, which is save. We select the same name, and press enter. And then we press Control X to exit. A couple of other things you'll probably want to do. Press up, and just delete the star made dedicated server Linux line, so just a pseudo nano. Um, 
I think I probably don't need to sudo actually, but yeah, we'll just just nano. So nano server dot cfg. Now this will be where you can set all of your settings uh, for all the variables that we've got control over, like catalog slots. Um, you know, you put that to zero and people can't actually use them at all. I think or is it yeah, minus one is unlimited, um, but uh, zero would stop people from using them. I think. Anyway, I haven't tried that myself. Uh, physics and linear dampening, uh, physics and rotational dampening, that's the spin and uh, how quick you slow down, basically, it's slow down just there. Um, AI destruction loot counts, multiplayer, uh, multiplayer I put the chest loot to 0.3 but the chest stat to 0.5 and then for destruction count it's 0.5 and the stack is 0.3. So I've kind of play, I've played about with that one mine. Um, it's still a little bit OP. I still have to nerf that. <laughs> um, I do use the auto kick modified blueprint because that's not cool. But I have found that sometimes blueprints corrupt on their own and I've been kicked out even though it wasn't the modified blueprint. <laughs> so yeah, um, that's fine. And then a recipe block count cost two and a half thousand and. Uh, I think I changed the refund to 0.4 rather than 0.5. Um, uh, recipe level amount is 2,000. I changed that to accelerate it because I wanted to see how they level up. Anyway, um, also I put, where is it, max clients. It's probably up near the top. You can put it in, there's a max client setting. I've got mine to 20. So, uh, but yeah, that's basically. I'm not going to change anything here because I've already, uh, I've already customized mine. The last thing that you probably want to do is change the server message. So I think it's server dash message dot text. There we go. Right. So what I've done is I've put in the locations of our stations, and hopefully I'm going to put in the current build here. So what we're going to do is we're just going to run our uh, Starmay launcher and it'll say here now version is 0.9.3865 so basically I'm just going to put that onto I'm just going to fill that in there so uh, Oh, point. oh god, I hit something I shouldn't have hit. Don't use the numpad. <laughs> Control C to cancel. <laughs> so it's 0.093865 and then the build is 20130816 underscore 005336. Right. That's ready to go. So then we can write this out. Control O, enter. Control X to close it. Right now we're ready to run the server. So I'm going to run it with. I'm running everything with administrator just because it works. But you, you don't have to do that. In fact, some people would say the security problems with doing it rooted. But anyway, whatever. Huh. So here we go. sudo dot slash star made dedicated server Linux dot sh. Now when you're using the ampersand you'll notice something interesting. As you can see it's loading it up. If I press enter now I get my command line back. <laughs> and if something happens with the server it'll just pop up in the middle of this console. But it's fine. It's running in the background. Whenever I push a button it'll work. Okay, so it's in the background there. And I can now just exit this. And now we'll try connecting to the server. And we're in, as you can see. Wait, that's the message I just put up. It's got the new number on it. Still running. My SSH is shut down. Doesn't terminate the process. Don't need to use screen. So, just a little trick there. It was actually told to me by a friend of mine who knows his stuff, not me. I didn't, you know, I'm not a very good programmer like that. So, uh, but yeah, just stick an and on the end of the script and get rid of that second line there, and that'll run just fine. Um, so yeah, that's just about it really. Um, really simple process, didn't take very long at all, and it would go a lot quicker than that if I wasn't explaining it all as I was going along. 
Um, also, a lot of it's just in your bash. So when I say your bash, that's your command history. You press up and it'll uh, scroll through stuff you typed recently. So um, I hope that's going to help some people and uh, see you in the next one.